people assume you put your hero capes on and off you go jump in the lifeboats and everything's going to be fine. The reality is quite different. They use an AI-based vision system to autonomously detect people in the water. So we've built what we believe is the world's biggest data set of people and casualties in the water, and then trained our models in partnership with the US Coast Guard. And we've created a way of image processing to denoise the marine environment, take out the waves, take out the spray, mist and the fog. We're always battling against time frame to find people in the water, time frame to rescue people in the water. Everything's moving and you might only see them for a fraction of a second. If the software picks up a person, we use software stabilization to stabilize the image. It then puts on an intelligent track to go, where are we likely to see that person again? It's not that dissimilar to a conveyor that you'd see in a supermarket. As the boat drives towards that person, it's going to hit you approximately at waist level. You're then brought up onto the vessel in sub 10 seconds. And then once you're on board, you've then got access to two-way communication and remote telemedicine.